Welcome back climbers, this is the finals of the men's lead in the Japan Cup and this is Masahiro Higuchi, former World Cup winner. He won in, I believe it was Slovenia in 2022 and we also have defending champion Taisei Homa, also former World Cup lead climbing winner, coming up right next. This first section looks really awkward with these unleashed climbing uh, holds and volumes um, uh, but we'll have to see. I think. These, uh, these are a little bit crimpy, those boomerangs up there. But I think there's a little bit of a two finger pocket from the observation earlier that really forces a really awkward position. So that's going to be quite an interesting route. This route looks very technical from the observation and I'm very excited to kind of watch this with you guys. So not only is Taisei Homa and Masahiro Higuchi here, these kind of like in this competition, these are like the, you know, one of the best duels of 2022 um, but we have the youth uh, coming up so they have matured and we have climbers I forgot the names but they have climbers coming up later that are from the youth competitions and they dominated the youth competitions so they finally like uh, you know are right here competing together with like their older compatriots so it'll be really interesting to see the veterans versus the new youth upcoming talents this is also two finger pocket i was talking about and it's really awkward here we're gonna see how master hero maneuvers through this oh he makes it look quite okay actually i was thinking that it's gonna be really awkward to kind of like push across you can see him really smearing and pressing with his right foot to get weight into that gaston left gaston so no problem for him there it didn't seem like such an awkward move but it looks like a ugly climb <laughs> i'm not saying ugly in a bad way ugly in a good way you know when it's ugly it's like it looks uncomfortable and well, the, the horse placement also looks kind of disgusting, uh, I, I think, I don't know. But it, it's meant to kind of like shake up the climbers, I assume. Okay, this puck section looks very, very interesting. I think this is the most technical section because not only is it pockety, but it's overhang. And pockets make you almost impossible to match, especially, you know, with pockets of this... Uh, with this magnitude and this slope, but oh my goodness, he's going 360, spinning across, okay. That's an interesting way to interpret it. I don't think I read that correctly. I guess that's probably the beta, but it doesn't seem like it. We'll have to see what the other climbers do. Uh, this is a really tricky spot. Yeah, see, he couldn't really swap feet in that pocket. He had to find some other way to kind of get around. He chose to toe hook on that volume he's really pinching this around oh my goodness what is he holding on to he's holding on to absolutely nothing he looks a bit unbalanced here oh my goodness what is he crimping with his left hand oh my goodness oh oh my goodness that's so strong you could see his left hand was like his elbow was coming out he was really desperate here and i think he's kind of uncomfortable oh this is a tricky oh no he's trying to match the pocket Oh my goodness, this is this is not good. So early into the route. I don't think he read this well. I think he he's completely uh, <laughs> he's completely perplexed. He's trying to make room for his right hand to cross, but as no it's no good body position. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, he messed it up completely. Yeah, that pocket section, if you don't read it right, you're not gonna make it do it. This is Taisei Homa, defending champion. He won the uh, finals of the, I believe it was in S Sweden or Switzerland. Uh, yeah, I think it's Switzerland for the IFSC lead climbing event in 2022. He was one of the breakout stars along with Masahiro Higuchi uh, last year in 2022. This start is kind of tricky actually. He's going from a pocket into a little slopey undercling. That might rattle some competitors, but doesn't seem to rattle Taisei Homa. Let's see how he kind of maneuvers through this. Oh, brilliant. He finds a knee bar. Very like Adam Ondra here. We really want to see if he can figure out that pocket section. I believe he can, but it looks very confusing. And look at this. Look at his left foot. He's literally balancing on his dual texture. Oh my god, his right foot is also smearing on dual texture. I don't think there's any texture there. Was it a pinch? It surely has a little... Okay, there has a little bit there. Okay. <laughs> that would be insane if he... <laughs> left all his weight there. You can see his left hand. Oh, that's an awkward pocket. Yeah, I already imagined this to be awkward. Look at him. I, yeah, 
He's not really smearing with his right foot super well. Oh, but he manages to go across, so... Yeah, that was a little bit of good position because your hands are kind of tied up very close. Your legs are very close in, you know, when you're, 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 you're like a pencil on the wall, you tend to rotate a lot and bundle a lot. So that's what I expected the climbers to struggle a little bit with. Master Hero kind of, kind of like flawlessly went through that. But Tase Homa, I think, fell victim there. So that might cost him. And yeah, you can see him that the effects are already costing him. He's actually forced to take a little bit of a rest here. Um, because that route, that section is a little bit pumpy. He's actually smearing on the dual text on his right, on his right foot. So yeah, smearing on dual text now is it's now, now it's the thing. You know, you have to learn how to smear on dual text. And that's the trick to it. Uh, the trick to it is to actually not smear, but to just commit your weight on it. But that's a more advanced technique, and I'm not very familiar with that technique personally, so I can't really share advice on that. But if anybody knows how to smear on dual text volumes, it could be Taisei Homa. Now he finds another knee bar here. This is cool. I think I think uh, Master Hero did not take this rest uh, earlier. We saw him kind of plow through quite quickly. So Taisei Homa really making sure he's well rested and recovered. Showing his experience as the defending champion, as the former World Cup winner, and he medaled and podium many, many times. Yes, I think he's reading his right a little bit of a cut loose moment here, but that's all good. Beautiful, cool bicycle here. Now, how's he gonna get his right hand over into that key pocket area? We have to have to see. Oh, this is brilliant. So he's. So that's so cool. So, right hand to the crimp, left hand flipped under Kling to bump his right hand again. That was a great sequence. I don't think that was easy to pull off. That was definitely almost very difficult to read. You probably have to <laughs> rely on your climbing instinct from there. Let's see how Masahiro. Sorry, let's see how Tyson Yamal catches this under Kling. This under Kling is a little bit tricky to catch. Oh no. Yeah, he just didn't really commit to the undercling, I think. And he knows it. He, he, I think he, that does face, that's the face of regret right there. This is Yoshida Satone climbing right now. So he's making his way into this pockety section. This is a section where we've seen, you know, many people already yeah, had troubles with this. Um, Taisei Homa kind of cruised through it uh, brilliantly. He found a great beta. But this is uh, Yoshida Satone. We've seen his name in the... IFSC circuit before and oh he finds the Niba, he decides to rest her for a while. It's applicable for this beta. Oh he's really crossing over. He doesn't go through that. He doesn't go through the he doesn't do through the uh, what do you call that? <laughs> the uh, rose move style like Master Hero did. So he's picking a more traditional style. Actually he wants to go to hand first into the uh, red volume, okay. Now he catches his right hand here, he has to bump his crimp, okay. He almost got the right beta there. I think he just needs to commit, but he doesn't seem too convinced. He tries to go left a little bit. Oh no, he's bumping his left hand up. He's falling to the trap. No, dude, not like this. He thinks it's okay because it's like a nice bicycle there. It seems pretty good, but yeah, you can't match your hands on that pocket. Oh, my brother, you gotta figure this out. You can't, you can't afford to make this mistake. Not so early in your career. Oh, he's trying to piano match somehow. He's trying to find a way. Yeah, he's a bit, he's a bit, he's a bit nervous right now. He's a bit, he's worrying a little bit. He's trying to slip his fingers, two fingers in, but I think the hole is too bad. Oh my God, is he gonna do it? Oh my goodness. The finger strength in this man. Holy, oh my goodness. That is insane. Those pockets don't look that great, especially at the steepest wall angle. What is he trying to do? He's trying to heel hook the top of it. Oh my goodness, the footwork. This is high level climbing, guys. Oh my. This this is unreal. Like gravity turns off in the moments like that, clutch moments like that, and Yoshida is 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 turning on the heat with these clutch moments. He needs to stabilize. Oh, he needs to calm down. Well, I think I need to calm down. It looks like he's trying to take a break here, but these holes aren't the best holes for a nice rest. Um, let's see if he can break through the top section and give a good scoring. He wants to be on the podium spot. He's kind of like already looking pumped. He's double bumping. He misses the foot. He's trying to go desperate to the post. Oh, 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 oh. How is that? He tries to 
go under cross. Oh, he just doesn't get the right weight distribution. But wow, what a fight! Well done. I think he should be proud of his performance. All right, so this is new Suzuki. I'm not too familiar with this guy, but he seems to be able to read the pocket section exceptionally well. He's looking really, really good. Let's see if we can make a breakthrough to the hit wall. We want to see a little bit more of the hit wall. We want to see the whole route being topped, ideally. And he's making his way through, crossing to this underclink very well, nice and controlled. And he should be able to take a break here if the pinches are good enough, but I don't think these holes are good at all. Um, yeah, that this is like a sloper plus a little bit of a tom catch. Not the easiest thing to hold, but I think he has to take this rest because there's no rest at the top. You have to go, go, go. There's no rest. It's designed this way. I love this heel hook over here. Can he throw to the slot? Oh, that was that was precise. That was so accurate. Well, now this is a little bit of a tricky body position spot. Makes it look pretty okay. I think his slightly taller stretcher made him able to cross. Wow, look at the back flex step. Whoa, this is great technique. What a display. He, can he reach the top? Oh my goodness, he's going to spring to the top. Oh, he just slips it. Oh. oh, it looked like he had it. But I don't think, I don't think the judges will give it to him. Uh, this is Xion. Xion is the upcoming rising lead star he's been doing extremely well in the under 18 circuit and the youth circuit in the IFSC league competitions so he has really made a name for himself in the youth circuit so but this is his first time well not really the first time but this is one of his rare chances that he's actually competing with the seniors and so we'll see him a lot more maybe next year in 2024 and maybe the following olympics but it's really great to see him compete right now to compete with the seniors compete with Taisei Homa and well, there's a huge pool of Japanese talent, talent coming in. So let's see if we can figure out this pocket section. If anybody could figure this out, it could be him. He's been doing very well. Oh, he's ooh, a little bit hesitant on where to go. Decides to cross over. Ooh, oh, that was a little risky, but he manages to hang on and pull it off. Okay, looks like his choices are a little bit different than usual compared to the other climbers. He's choosing to go a little bit left um, towards, yeah, oh, straight to the uh, rifle hole. Doesn't seem to even you want to use the arret. Can he cross? Yes. Okay, cool. Wow, he reads it really well. He actually doesn't use the arret, which is very surprising. So, really great use of just pockets right there. He well, it shows that you know he's make it. He made, he shows how strong he is, and he made it look super easy. Now, can he score this underkling? Oh, great! I think that was really, really nice and precise. He knew it was quite a crux, so he looked like he prepared for it, and well, he prepared for it, and the dividends paid off. Now, is he gonna rest over here? Because this is kind of like the only last rest spot. This is not a rest. These are the like slopey whole underklings. The slopey underklings are not a hole you usually rest on but the top section is you know if you've seen before it's there's no stopping there there's no place to rest there can he make this he's gonna bump left up here or oh, is he gonna go straight to the slot oh come on oh that control oh did you see that body control all oh, that core strength is amazing this part a little bit tricky a lot of climbers did fall here and he makes it through. Come on. Come on, Shion. Can he top this route? Can he break through Neo's high point? He's really pumped. Come on, come on. Huge split across. Will this be able to give him the stability he needs to go to the next hole? Look at his face. He's grimacing. Come on, one more hole. <laughs> what is this time? Two minutes. Two minutes. I think, I think if they give that plus to him, He's gonna win because I think Neo had took a lot, lot more time, a little bit more time. We have to see the results. I think he won. I think he's the gold medalist.